to our online worship service for today. It is so good to be gathered once again, worshiping with you all. If you are new to Northminster and want to learn a little bit more about the church, the community, what we're up to, and some events to plug into, I invite you to check out our website, troynorthminster.com, and that will have everything you need to know. If you want additional ways to plug into this community, I invite you to check out our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. By liking our Facebook page, you will see minute by minute updates of what we're up to. And if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you will be the first ones to see our worship services or any other fun videos that we upload during the week. So, so I invite you to check out our pages, our social medias, and if you want to join our community, feel free to reach out at any time, log on to a coffee hour Zoom, or join into a Bible study. I have a few quick announcements before we jump into worship for today. First and foremost, next weekend is a big weekend for Northminster. It is October 20th. Fifth, which means that it is the date of our installation service. Northminster will be gathering with, the, with members of the Presbytery to celebrate and affirm the relationship between me, Pastor Chris, and you all. This is a celebration of a commitment to do ministry alongside one another and celebrate a, the beginning of a new chapter in Northminster's story and in the story of God's love for this community. So we will still be having our online worship service on Sunday morning, but you get to see an additional worship service. The installation service will be at three o'clock in the afternoon. It will be live streamed. Do not worry, we will make sure that everyone can see this socially distanced. If you are part of the Northminster congregation, I invite you to attend in person if you feel comfortable gathering. We do require masks and to be six feet apart between family groups and the service, as long as the weather behaves, will be outside. If we have to move it inside, we will ask for a few different safety measures, but we're going to cross our fingers that the sh sun shines down upon us on the 25th. Secondly, this week is the last week for our SOS Lighthouse fundraising campaign. Normally at this time, we host or provide meals for the families and individuals who are a part of the SOS program. Because we have not been able to participate in that way because of the pandemic, we've been giving money to support SOS Lighthouse to provide for the needs of these families and individuals. So if you haven't given yet, you can write a check with SOS Lighthouse in the memo line or donate online. And as you donate, there'll be a point where it says notes. And I encourage you to put SOS Lighthouse in that so we know where to where to put your offering. So thank you so much for everyone who has given to that already. But with that in mind, let us turn now to our worship for today. Please join me in the call to worship. Through light and shadow we are led. Let us follow through the ins and outs, the ups and downs of these days. When our hearts are failing, when our spirits rejoice, when we can barely put one foot in front of the other, still you beckon us on. When we stumble, you support us. When we can go no further, you carry us through light and shadow, in death's dark veil, and on the mountain peaks. You lead us on through tangled webs, on rocky ground, on smoother paths, through light and shadow you lead us. And so we gather today with a new song on our lips. Let us sing to our God who leads us on through the days, whether they be bright or full of shadows. Let us praise our God full of love and grace. Let us worship God today. Oh, no. 
got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean in my soul. The scripture reading today is from Isaiah, chapter 48, verses 17 through 19. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord your God, who teaches you for your own good, who leads you in the way you should go. Oh, that you had paid attention to my commandments. Then your prosperity would have been like a river and your success like the waves of the sea. Your offspring would have been like the sand, and your descendants like its grains. Their name would never be cut off or destroyed from before me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Memory. Eight years old. I approach my mom while she is cooking dinner and I state that I should be baptized. My mom seems to think that this is a reasonable request because she soon after calls a former pastor of ours, a pastor that we knew when we lived in Chicago. We attend a Presbyterian church now, but my parents book a flight and make arrangements to travel to Pennsylvania and be baptized in the Disciples of Christ Church. Before church, Pastor Bob shows my sister and I how to hold our hands over our nose so the water won't go up our noses when we are dunked under. He reminds us that we will be dunked three times and we should make sure to get a breath when we come up in between them. Afterwards, I am standing outside the sanctuary in a line of kids as a congregation I don't know walks by and congratulates all of us. I don't know anyone there besides my family and Pastor Bob, but I'm proud. I am proud that I am the youngest person there and I have been given a new cross necklace that on the back of it says, I have called you by your name. You are mine. Luke 3 verses 21 and 22. When all the people were being baptized, Jesus was baptized too. And as he was praying, heaven was opened and the Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven. You are my son, whom I love. With you, I am well pleased. Memory, recent. 
I turn off the faucet and dry my hands. I go up to the bathroom and start opening cabinets searching for a bottle of lotion. My hands are dry and nearly cracked because of the amount of times I have been washing them with soap and water for fear of bringing the coronavirus into the house. I spread the lotion over my dry skin and at once it becomes more elastic again. The difference feels almost magical. I remind myself to pick up more bottles of lotion at the store when I go there later this week. Memory, high school. I volunteer to help with vacation Bible school again. I have every year. I got put in the music room where I have to follow a video that teaches kids how to dance along with the songs that they're singing that week. They think I am perfect for this job because I'm just so peppy. I'm tired and I'm injured from playing softball. This is the sixth time through this video and I don't know if I can do it one more time. I'm not really feeling peace like a river again. But they push play and, well, I guess I have to do the motions along with the song. Glory to God, notes for him, number 623. In the King James Version, the promise of peace like a river is twice mentioned in Isaiah as a blessing that comes from doing God's will. The water imagery of this African-American spiritual also provides reminders of the Christian's baptismal identity. Memory. 19 years old, summer camp counselor. The evening activity is a camp-wide educational game called the Underground Railroad. It is a cat and mouse game, but we have put educational elements on top of it. We break the campers into groups, mix up the cabins and the ages. They will be the people escaping the plantations and fleeing to the north to their freedom. A few counselors have dressed up as slave catchers and wander the camp as we try to sneak from station to station. The campers will have to work together to avoid them. We move carefully from one cabin to another cabin and meet counselors dressed as historical figures who tell their story along the way. But now I am sitting on the beach telling my campers to take off their shoes and their socks. It's a cold day in northern Michigan, and the lake's even colder. Some protest saying they don't want to because they're cold. And I have to explain to them how the people who were escaping slavery would cross through the river so that the dogs that the slave catchers were using couldn't track their scent. Lyrics Wade in the Water by John Wesley Work II and his brother, Frederick J. Work. Wade in the water. Wade in the water, children. Wade in the water. God's gonna trouble the water. You don't believe I've been redeemed. Wade in the water. Just so the whole lake goes looking for me. God's gonna trouble the water. Memory. Time unknown. I'm up early and in the shower. I just... I don't want to do today. I stand there and let the hot water wash over me and I can feel the water hitting my scalp and pooling in my hair until the moment that it cascades down in all directions. I feel like I am encased in water, 
It feels holy. It feels like what I think anointing might feel like. I pray to God, make me clean. Make me into something new. I don't know if I want to be me today. Psalm 23 He anoints my head with oil. My cup overflows. Memory April 12, 2020 It's Easter Sunday night and Logan and I are relaxing on the couch. It sounds like rain. I look out our window in the family room to see if it's raining and it's not. I look in the kitchen and see that, well, it is raining inside. It's raining from the door frames and the light fixtures. Water is pooling on the table and on the floor. Our apartment is being baptized from our neighbors above. And I'm just... I'm exhausted just looking at it. Logan runs upstairs and tries to get their attention to turn off the water. I think to myself, we have to get out of here. Isaiah 66, verses 12 and 13. For this is what the Lord says, I will extend peace like a river and the wealth of the nations like a flowing stream. You will nurse and be carried in her arms and dangled on her knees. As a mother comforts a child, so I will comfort you, and you will be comforted over Jerusalem. Memory, 22 years old. I'm visiting my sister who lives in downtown Flint, Michigan. She has asked for my help putting on filters on all of her faucets. She has double-checked to make sure all of them can filter out lead. You have to run water through the filters for a few minutes to get the mechanism working right. At first, we don't realize it, and we run hot water through it, and she rushes over and shuts it off. She tells us hot water can destroy the filter in a matter of minutes. She also says that most of her clients can't afford filters and are relying on churches giving out free bottled water so they can bathe their babies in it without fear. Memory high school. Our pastor is going through the litany before he baptizes another baby. I'm sitting with my family in the balcony looking down over the various comb-overs in the congregation below. The pastor makes a comment that we should all remember our baptism. And I smugly think to myself, how can you remember your baptism if you were baptized as a baby? Genesis 1, verses 1 and 2. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty, and darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. Memory, Spring Break 2008. I was arguing that the family should travel to the southwest and see the Grand Canyon for our spring break, but my opinion lost out to my sister who wanted the beach vacation. I guess my parents wanted the beach too. So I am trying to make the most of it. I'm a ways out from the beach, in the water, floating face up, eyes closed, Letting myself roll with the waves and letting the waves crash over top of me. My ears are below the surface of the water, so I can't hear the people yelling or talking on the beach. 
I want to dissolve into the water. I am at peace. Memory, elementary school. My signal that we are getting almost to my grandparents' house is when we drive on the bridge over the Missouri River. My mom tells us that while the river looks calm, that we should never under any circumstance try to swim in it. She explains that the river looks calm, but has a very strong riptide, and that every year a handful of people will try to go swimming in it and get sucked down and will be unable to come back up to the surface for air. Isaiah 48 verses 17 through 19. This is what the Lord says. Your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord your God, who teaches you what is best for you and who directs you in the ways that you should go. If only you had paid attention to my commands. Your peace would have been like a river. Your well-being like the waves of a sea. Your descendants would have been like the sand. Your children like numberless grains. Their names would have never been blotted out. What can I say? What can I say about vast rivers with hidden riptides, about fountains of water that spring up unexpectedly in the deserts creating small oases, about love so vast, so vast like the ocean that can violently crash against the shore? What can I say about the voices who defiantly sang about all three, that they had peace like a river, they had joy like the fountain, and they had love like the ocean. What can I say about enslaved voices declaring that their love was as vast as the ocean? When I talk about these things, will people see the water of creation comes up in every recreation? Will they see how God used water to make way for justice? Will they see how God renamed people from slave to beloved through the waters? Will they see how peace was found as they crossed through the water to freedom? Will they see how God troubles the water in the face of injustice? Will they see that God isn't done yet? Do you know? Do you know that by the water you were claimed by God's endless love? Do you know that by the sign of the water, God chooses to love you even with all of your imperfections? God chose to love you even when you feel like you don't live up to the waters of baptism. Can you find fountains of joy that spring up when all feels parched? Can you find rivers of peace that flow into oceans of love? Can you hear the song of God hovering over the waters again? Cause God's about to trouble the waters.
stranger traveled on from Nazareth to Jordan to be baptized by John. He went down to the water like soldier, scribe, and slave, but there within the river the sign was earth and grave. Arising from the river, he saw the heavens torn, it seemed the sky so opened, revealed the Spirit's form. The holy dove descended amidst a glorious voice. You are my own beloved, my child, my heart, my joy. We too have found a roadway, it led us to this place. We all have had to travel in search of hope and grace. But now beside this water, again our voice is heard. Beloved of your Lord. Let us join in the prayers of the people. God of light and darkness, through water and word, you shine your light in the darkness of our lives. We give thanks for this incredible gift. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of love and hate, your love comes in spite of our animosity. You bring reconciliation to those who are divided. Strengthen us to be peacemakers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of hope and fear, you walk with us through the challenges which surround us. Wash away our anxiety by your promised presence and set us free from despair. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of church and world, in baptism, you unify yourself with our world and bring your reign into being. Keep us from seeing your love as a hiding place. Motivate us to infuse the world with your justice. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of health and illness, there is nothing that separates us from your love. Inspire us to bring your health to the sick, your encouragement to the discouraged, your promise to the dying especially those we name before you now. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of life and death, all that exists is from you and for you. Enable us to trust your baptismal promise and serve this hurting world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God who shines in the darkness, Receive these prayers and the prayers of our hearts as we say the prayer that you taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Jesus, all one body, 
are one spirit, all together we share one God, one mighty Lord, one abiding faith, one binding love, one single baptism, one holy comforter, the Holy Spirit, uniting all. We are one in Christ Jesus, all one body, all one spirit, all together. We are one in Christ Jesus, all one body, all one spirit, all together. We share one God, one mighty Lord, one abiding faith, one binding love, one single baptism, one holy comforter, the Holy Spirit, uniting all. When it comes to spirituality and water, there is so much symbolism that we can unpack and dig into. Today's service was an exploration of some of the symbolism and some of my memories connected to the spiritual significance of water. I invite you as you go through the rest of today to think of the touch points in your life when it comes to baptism or water or what the image of water means to you. Some of the songs we seem sing seem simple on the surface, but when you start unpacking the layers, thinking about who sang them and in what situation, you see the great depth in simple words. Like I, have peace like a river can be a revolutionary claim to a people for a people that were assumed to be subhuman. When you say I have joy like a fountain in the face of oppression, when you say can say I have joy like a fountain in the face of all that is wrong in the world when you can say that you have love like the ocean. God's love for us is fierce. God's love for us and all of humanity demands sometimes for us to walk into the waters and to trouble the waters and to protect those who are crossing over the waters trying to find freedom. But most of all, the waters that God has created, our Creator God, reminds us in baptism that we are claimed by God, that we are created anew in God, and that God has given us a new name, called us family, called us beloved. God says that God is well pleased with us and our faith. Let us go out into the world today, inspiring peace like a river, giving joy like a fountain of water that springs up in the desert, reminding others that God's love is an ocean where there is always enough. So as you go into the world, know that God has made the path ahead. It is Jesus, Jesus who calls us into baptism, who has walked the path before us and calls us forward into the troubled waters. And it is the Spirit that guides our feet, the Spirit who guides us in peace every step of the way. Amen. Wait in the water. Wait in the water, children. Wait in the water, children. God's 
gonna trouble God's gonna trouble God's gonna trouble the water Wait in the water Wait in the water children Wait in the water God's gonna trouble the water Wait in the water, wait in the water, children, wait in the water, God's gonna trouble the water. Down in the valley, down on my knees, wait in the water. Ask my Lord to save me, please. Wait in the water, wait in the water, wait in the water, children. Wait in the water, God's gonna trouble the water. Up on the mountain, Jehovah, he spoke, wait in the water. Out of his mouth came fire and smoke, wait in the water. I heard a rumbling up in the sky, wait in the water. Must have been Jesus passing by, wait in the water. You gotta wait in the water. You gotta wait in the water, children. You gotta wait in the water. God's gonna trouble the water. Wait in the water. Wait in the water, children. Wait in the water. God's gonna trouble, God's gonna trouble, God's gonna trouble the water. <laughs> yeah? <gasps> Hello? Good morning, Northminster.